Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have another tiny makeover and today this is Gracie Loveland. So she is another sim from Appaloosa Plains. I was reading her backstory and it seems like she's meant to be at, at, like a teacher. But her lifetime wish in my game is to become a lifeguard. So I'm not sure what's up with that because that doesn't line up to like what her backstory is if you read up on it. But she also kind of reminds me of Barbie. I don't know if it's just like the way that she's currently dressed or what it is. But for whatever reason, that was definitely the vibes that I was getting off of her when I was filming this makeover. So I will have the link to download her and her CC list down in the description. They're both in the same download file. So if you are interested in just a CC... It is also linked down below in that sim file share. But here we are just kind of, you know, working away at her features. Um, I found her nose to be very difficult to work with. Something about, like, the way that her bridge of her nose was sitting, it just didn't look right to me. And whatever I tried to do, it wasn't working. So you will see me at one point. Like, I go in and I literally select... A nose preset I may have actually done that already because of how quick this was going but I eventually got it to be a way that I didn't hate it so you can kind of see everything come together I do change her eye color at one point can't remember if that's on camera or not but I make them just a little bit more of a realistic blue because I just feel like this color like I have seen people with very light blue eyes but there's just something about it in The Sims that it doesn't look the way that I feel like it should. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. It probably doesn't. But uh, we hopped in and I kept her with the ponytail vibes that she had. I do change up her color of blonde completely. I just, I didn't really love the yellow blonde that she started off with. And I was just kind of testing to see what colors I have for blonde hair and I, I settled on one that I didn't think I was going to like but I ended up liking it a lot more than I thought that I would and I do hop in and I change her eyebrows up again I think I went with this one I felt like it looked more realistic with like the darker hair at the root and I just feel like it looked more flattering on her and then I changed up her eyebrow style again because I didn't feel like the Miranda brows were suiting her face shape the way that I wanted them to. So I went with the Aaliyah ones because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they just looked really good on her for some reason. Um, her makeup I kept very light, very natural. Um, I was going to say, I think the most dramatic thing I did on her was possibly eyeliner. And... I think I went in to make it a brown and then changed my mind and it ends up being this like darker black eyeliner just because I didn't really like the way the brown looked on her. Um, and then we hopped in, we gave her some lashes, I went ahead and adjusted those to match up her eye shape a little bit better. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like she, you can definitely tell by looking at her that she's an EA sim. I feel like a lot of the townies end up looking very similar whenever I do the makeovers. I don't know why because I try to not change them up like a whole lot but I think I was trying to honestly channel like the whole Barbie vibe with her. So we hopped in. I gave her some mouth corners. She gets some contour. Um, I even think I even gave her a nose highlight because I feel like it look, would look very cute on her. So everything here is just kind of coming together. Her outfit that I end up giving her is also very similar to what she's already wearing. Just a bit more of a, I don't know if I'd necessarily say a flattering version, but it's something that I feel just looked a lot cuter on her. Uh, you can see I was testing out a few different highlights. Did not like the way they looked, so I went with my staple one on her. But yeah, I tested out a few. These didn't work for me, I just, I don't know. So we went back to this one because I feel like it... I don't know. I feel like I can't go wrong with it. And then I gave her a pink lip. I t You'll see I go through a bunch of different pinks. 
trying to figure it out, I went in and made a custom kind of adjusted one out of one of the colors I already had. And then we went in here and I tried on so many different outfits. Um, I was trying to stick to the floral dress vibes that she already had. Or like just like a dress in general that I would be able to recolor. So you'll see I go ahead and try on way too many different styles. Um, I should have just went with the one that I knew it was the one that I wanted after I put it on her, which was this one here. And then we looked at changing colors, but I ended up really only liking the first initial one on her. I went, looked at this blue one at first, and I was like, no, I feel like it's too bold. So we went over here with the, the white, and then she got some flats, so we went ahead and added some accessories. I tested out some eyelashes to see if I liked them or not, but um, that's pretty much the basis of her makeover. So if you want to download her, again, she is in the description alongside with her CC list. But other than that, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically six days a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. And I think that's about it. So I will see you all in my very next video. Bye lovelies.